Crews on the peninsula are getting ready for the storm. They're cleaning out ditches to allow water to drain better. Ted on your side, Tamara Scott spent the day in Hampton to show you how the city is getting ready for Florence, Tamara. Absolutely, Laura. Well, that's right. Crews were out working very hard today, and now they're on 12-hour shifts. Now, while I was out today, I saw many different things coming out of these drains, and once they were clear, you could already see water flowing freely. Officials hope this will make a big difference. Right now, we're trying to remove a mattress and a swing set. Those are just a couple of items public works crews in the city of Hampton are fishing out of storm drains throughout the city. We don't want to wait until the rain starts to fall and until the water starts draining. This is a regular operation for the city. But with the threat of Hurricane Florence on the horizon, communications operator Fred Gaskins says they are working overtime. We want to avoid as much flooding as possible. We know that we're in a low-lying area. We're susceptible to flooding. But we also know that if we take efforts now, we can reduce that possibility in the future. And as the city prepares to help decrease the risk of flooding, right, resident Lakeisha Calhoun says she realizes now is the time to prepare. It actually makes me feel kind of nervous because I wasn't too afraid at first, but I heard earlier on the news that they're evacuating um, the area of the Outer Banks, and I'm like, that's two hours away, so I think I need to take it more serious. First on her list? I'm going to remove everything from the porch, take my plants in, put the patio furniture um, from the front and the back inside the garage, uh, make sure that my trash cans are in the garage. So just make sure that there's no debris outside that could fly and do damage. Both Calhoun and Gaskins say they are grateful to see the city working to keep them safe. They sent us no all idea. magnets to tell you what zone you're in. So I know that I'm in zone C and I have that magnet, you know, on my refrigerator as a reminder. To know that the city is taking care of things, that the city is out looking out for me, for my family. Now, Gaskins tells me they already have crews in place and are preparing for storm recovery and as the storm hits. Now, if you don't have a magnet like Lakeisha mentioned showing your zone, no worries. We have all that information on our website, wavy.com. Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.